So President Trump tweeted the following. This is about a movie called The Hunt. He says, Liberal Hollywood is racist at the highest level and with great anger and hate. They like to call themselves elite, but they are not elite. In fact, it is often the people they so strongly oppose that are actually the elite. The movie coming out is made in order to inflame and cause chaos. They create their own violence and then try to blame others. They are the true racists and are very bad for our country. Okay, so um, where do I even begin with this? Notice one of the common things you hear from right-wingers is how dare the left, you know, uh, just willy-nilly in a nonchalant way accuse people they disagree with of being racists. You should be a hell of a lot more careful when using that term. You shouldn't throw it around randomly. And then Trump does exactly that thing. Uh, Hollywood is, mm, I don't know, racist? They're racist, that's right, they're racist. Based on, why? Um, is there a single instance of racism that he laid out here? No. Not even close. He just doesn't like them because he perceives them as being against him, so he just lashes out and he doesn't need any evidence or details or specifics or, he's just, ah, you're racist! Bad. You're bad, racist. So they're doing the exact, and of course, you know, go look at the retweet count, 152,000. 152,000 conservatives, and this was at the time, it's probably way more now. 152,000 conservatives liked it. So all those crocodile tears about the left calls people racist based on nothing. And then Trump does exactly that and they love it. Just understand, they never had a principled belief in it. They're just playing a game. And they're on the red team and they hate the blue team, and so... Whenever people on their side do the things that they say they don't like, all of a sudden they like it. So just keep that in mind. These guys are frauds. Okay, that's the first point. The second point is, so what Trump is doing here is he's responding to, he's tweeting based on a Fox News segment that he watched. I don't know which show he was watching. Um, he watches so much Fox News on a daily basis. It's, it's unbelievable. Like... Find anything to love as much as Trump loves watching Fox News, and you will be a happy person. <laughs> I mean, the dude all day long is just nonstop watching TV and getting propagandized even further. And um, so I don't know which show he was watching, but they're talking about a movie called The Hunt. And, you know, the right wing blogosphere and, you know, talk radio and the Republican propaganda on Fox News, they took this story. And what they said is, here we have a movie where elites hunt and kill deplorables. And the idea was, you have vicious, murderous elites going after the deplorables. And all these right-wingers took that as, wow, I can't believe Hollywood is like now fantasizing about murdering Republicans. That's how they're interpreting it, and that's the way that all the stories are framed. So now I'm going to watch you a Fox News, I'm going to watch you, I'm going to show you a Fox News clip on this, um, and then we're going to come back and talk about it. Look at the fallout, look at what happened after, you know, President Trump tweeted about this, and there's widespread right-wing outrage about this movie coming out. Look at the action that Hollywood took next. Movie, The Hunt, has been killed. Breaking just now, that controversial film will not be released by Universal now in the wake of last weekend's two mass shootings. Universal Studios confirming that decision. The movie happened to be based on a satire where elites hunt human victims. In the film, they're called Deplorables, doing that for sport. President Trump seemed to blast this film in a tweet, accusing it of intending to inflame and cause chaos, and he put the blame directly on Hollywood. Jonathan Hunt, live in Los Angeles, with more on these latest developments. Hi, Jonathan. Eric, in the wake of the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton, Universal had found itself under pressure all week over the movie, and now it has bowed to that pressure, releasing a statement on its website that reads, quote, while Universal Pictures had already paused the marketing campaign for The Hunt, after thoughtful consideration, the studio has decided to cancel our plans to release the film. We stand by our filmmakers and will continue to distribute films in partnership with bold and visionary creators like those associated with this satirical social thriller. But we understand that now is not the right time 
to release this film. Now, the Hollywood Reporter had previously said the original title of The Hunt was Red State versus Blue State, and that early in the script, one of the characters says, quote, nothing better than going out to the manor and slaughtering a dozen deplorables. That, of course, is the same word Hillary Clinton famously used to describe Donald Trump supporters during the 2016 presidential election campaign. We have not seen the movie nor read the screenplay, so we can't independently confirm that line about deplorables is in the movie. What we have seen is one of the trailers released by Universal in which two characters talk about the right of wealthy one percenters to hunt the less well-off. We pay for everything. So this country belongs to us. It's just business. Hunting human beings for sport. They're not human beings. Just yesterday, President Trump, without specifically naming the movie, had lashed out at Hollywood. You talk about racist. Hollywood is racist. What they're doing with the kind of movies they're putting out, it's actually very dangerous for our country. What Hollywood is doing is a tremendous disservice to our country. It should be pointed out, Eric, that as far as we're aware, no one has suggested the movie had any racist material in it. But clearly it did have overtly violent political overtones. And in pulling the movie, Universal is acknowledging the view of many that this was an ill-conceived idea in a time of such political polarization across our country. In the movie... The deplorables were the good guys. So the right-wing outrage was so loud and persistent, but so stupid, they didn't realize they were effectively screaming to pull a movie that actually painted them in a positive light. I need you guys to, to grasp the fact that we're talking about the crowd of people that loves to say, us, bro? You talking about me, bro? I'm all about facts over feelings. You know what I am, dog? I'm anti-snowflake. And I'm pro-free speech. Pro-battle of ideas. Pro-free speech, pro-battle of ideas. That's these people. And they were so triggered that they ran to their safe space and screamed to have a movie pulled because they thought that it was against conservatives when, again, in the movie, the deplorables are the good guys. The 1% are portrayed as liberal elites. The deplorables are, por are portrayed as the good guys. The Republicans, the right-wingers, I guess, are portrayed as the good guys. My guess is it's actually a little more complicated than that in that you have, like, well, they said it was originally supposed to be named Red State versus Blue State, but my guess is, and this would reflect the reality, what it's 1% versus everybody else. So the 1% can include Republicans, it can include Democrats, but bottom line is, these are not class traitors. These are people who think the 1% are superior and the 99% are inferior, and the 99% includes Republicans, Democrats, regular folks. And, like, that's the battle. 1% versus 99%. 1% being the bad people, 99% being the good people, but the 99% includes the deplorables. So, they didn't even realize that their outrage is totally irrational, totally illogical, and they're actually shooting themselves in the foot because this is a movie that helps make their case for them. Man. I need you to stop and think about this. If you had... Screaming kids on college campuses with pink and blue hair. Trying to get a movie pulled because they're triggered by it. And they succeeded in getting the movie pulled. What would the right say about that? You would never, ever, ever hear the end of it. It would be all day long. These people are anti-free speech. They like their feelings over facts. They're snowflakes. They're triggered. These are the kinds of people to bitch about microaggressions. All day long you'd hear that. But now they fully, in no uncertain terms, embody the characteristics that they say they hate, and they don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? When I 
whine and bitch and moan and get movies pulled because they trigger me. I'm just like a macho man who's keeping it real, even though I'm dead wrong on the substance. Dead wrong on the substance, 100%. See, this is... Like, this, this story alone shows you how much of the right-wing outrage is just projection. Again, right-wingers say all the time, The lefties always call people racist based on nothing. What does Trump do? Screams Hollywood is racist based on absolutely nothing. On nothing! Based on nothing! So he's doing exactly what they accuse the left of doing. Again, they say, we're for free speech, and they shut down a movie that they don't like because it hurts their feelings. That's not for free speech. They're against snowflakes, they're acting like snowflakes. They're against safe spaces, they want their safe space to be the entire country. They don't want to release a single thing that they don't agree with. God damn it, man. They would rather, and, and notice there's like a weird connection here between, oh, we're trying to, you know, hey, gun violence is a problem, so let's pull a movie that has gun violence in it. So they would protect their guns come hell or high water no matter what, not even bare minimum basic regulations. When it comes to movies and video games, ban them, pull them. I don't like them. They're a good scapegoat. Let's go after those. So stupid, man. It's so stupid. If you're somebody who's still on the right, what are you doing? Uh, is are how much more evidence do you need? <laughs> like what what else is it going to take to get through to you to to let, make you understand that these people are frauds. They believe in nothing. They have no principles. They have Nothing. They're not putting the facts over their feelings. They're complete and utter charlatans and frauds. And just so insanely stupid that their outrage got a movie pulled, and it's a movie that would have helped make their case for them. I can't. I can't, man. I can't. Release the fucking movie. Release the movie. Are you kidding me? Universal. And that see, that's a whole nother conversation is... The, the fear of offending conservatives leads to all this capitulation. Fuck that! Are you kidding me? Fear of offending conservatives. Go be offended! I don't give a shit! Cry all day long. Wee! Kyle hurt my feelings! Wee! Wee! I don't give a fuck! Scream it all day long! Tweet it at me in all caps! I don't care! I could not care less! Oh, please. Find something else to do, son! whining about being triggered by a movie. You know how many movies I've tried to get pulled because they're against my political ideology or whatever? Donut, bitch! Zero! You wanna know why? Because I'm an adult! And I got shit to do, okay? Please. God damn it. This story, everything about this story, holy shit. I know I'm... I'm dragging on now, but... It's just, it's so stunning and so overwhelming. And by the way, Trump could have, so the Fox News segments, I know Ingram did one and maybe some others, but like, they were lazy enough to try to act like there's a real story here, and oh my god, deplorables versus, uh, elites, and they're, they're in fa Hollywood's in favor of killing deplorables. Utter nonsense. But Trump, if he had two brain cells to rub together, he could have, number one, found the name of the movie, and number two, double-checked, to make sure that it is as it's being portrayed, but no. He's your grandpa, who is not critical of anybody that's on his team, so he just runs with it. He saw it on Fox News, I, it's gotta be true, and he runs with it. Again, if you go back and read the tweets, he hasn't even mentioned the name. He just knows, The movie bad! Fox News told me it's bad, so it's bad. It's bad. Imagine going through life in that dim away. Where he's just copy-paste, 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 whatever Fox News says, copy-paste. Hannity said it, I'm down. Tucker said it, I'm down. Whatever it is. It's so sad. It is so sad. There's really nothing else to say about this except one of the most embarrassing stories in recent memory. Because it proves that all the shit they accuse the left of doing, it's what they do.